Uh, so originally I was going to make this video a little different, but then I got hungry, so I decided to multitask a little bit. And I ain't going to show you no recipes, motherfucker, because everything I'm doing right now is a recipe from like the internet, so just Google it. But I wanted to make this video because there's been a paradigm shift within the alt-right. You see, a lot of us, including yours truly, don't really support Trump no more. Since Trump made his decision to blow up that bad building in Syria with the chemical weapons, he fell for the chemical weapons and... Assad is an asshole meme. So now we're going to be dealing with more BS. More Zionist BS. And that along with Trump's like healthcare blunders really leads to a lot of people no longer supporting Trump. Including TRS, which no, I think it's a good thing. I think it's a good thing. Now, I do still see people who aren't really alt-right. They just wear MAGA hats and call people Trump, which is what the media thinks alt-right is. We still support his ass. And we still live vicariously through his ass, but I don't really see them much in alt-right circles. I see them a lot in race-baiting Facebook groups where it's usually like BLM versus the alt-right. I mean, ah, you see that? I put, I accidentally dropped the price tag on this shit. You, know, you want to season something with salt, but as usual, I'd be fucking up. I May mean, add some more salt. Just, just a little kick. And of course, I'm going to add some cinnamon. But the reason why I wanted to make this video was because a lot of people are going to sweep this under the rug. They're going to say, oh, I wasn't wrong. I didn't fall for no memes. And they're going to try to extrapolate something positive, which I'm going to try to do too. But what I want to do is I want to admit to my own faults because I've made that thoughts on Donald Trump video. And I also made a video two vids ago talking about healthcare involving Trump where I was still on his side. I was still very supportive of him. Before he fucked up overnight, I turned everyone except for his boomer neocon fan base against him. And I want to say that the reason I can still not feel completely heartbroken over what has happened is because I'm just stirring. Let me get a bigger spoon. It cost me three, it cost my mom's $350 to repair this shit, so I'm going to handle it with care. This is a very delicate, valuable instrument, especially for me producing content on here. But here comes the hard part. Let me turn the brightness up. That's nice. It's much better. And that's much better too. Okay. 
Now, as I've said before, my views can be considered Maxilic Light. And this is really making a better case for me and for the fewer print zip. I know one person wanted me to, and this is a person appropriately with an Angry Birds profile pic, the movie, make a video about Trump versus the deep state. Well, there wouldn't be a deep state if everything went under fewer print zip. So I'm feeling smug right there because for a long time I've been to the right of the alt-right. But now, as you know, when someone gets heartbroken, they go a little hard. I'm starting to feel like maybe a lot of people in the alt-right are going to start becoming more sympathetic towards my outlook on things. Especially since they don't have their golden boy, their golden dawn on them. But it also got me thinking about some of the other things we've been doing wrong since we're in Monday morning quarterback mode. See, we've been engaging in a lot of meme wars, trolling a lot of journalists and giving them panic attacks, which is nice. But the outcome is we haven't really achieved anything of value. We're essentially being slacked at this. Which is one thing even like, people on the left criticize about social justice warriors, that they're slacked at this. We've been fighting these meme wars, like stuff that caused Brexit, and we're even trying to get Marine Le Pen, which that's an even bigger meme in and of itself because she doesn't really go hard no more. She ain't go hard since I was a little dick Jimmy. But we can still like fight for her and I think that's a problem. We need to pick our pro battles. We need to start helping people out more instead of just engaging in meaningless meme wars. Because a battle against Zog like that is just as fruitless as a battle with them on our side, or supporting their interests. Because the outcome will mostly be the same. And we need to be a lot more focused now, because we're at least 10 times more popular than we were 10 years ago. And we can't be complacent. What are our fans the normal people who follow the alt-right going to do now that they don't have that icon. They don't have that Trump Pepe that we used to see all the time with the MAGA hat. And they're going to be salty as hell. They're going to move on to the latest trend. So we got to be more focused on something that will make them more focused. We got to do a lot of what maybe an Andrew Anglin would do. Even if you don't agree with everything about that guy or him as a personality, this is on too high. See, I'm seeing smoke up. That's not a good thing. Now, a lot of this be looking like shit. Yesterday when I had it with the strawberry flavoring, it was it was good. This time it's like all syrupy and. I'm not too sure about this one. It's, it's looking like the FBI going to knock on my door, but you can you can peep the chocolate. Maybe I should have made strawberry today and had the chocolate yesterday. But you know me, man. I I just love me some strawberry. Except for the Nesquik, because that'd be like making me throw up, like, that's diabetes in a bottle. And it's interesting, the hood loves Nesquik, man, they love... Syrupy milk in a Bev bottle. So if you, it's usually reserved for Arizonans. That's tangent aside. What I don't want us to do is to completely sweep this under the rug, or to become complacent, or to see what a lot of... Some people in the alt-light bit the bait hard, 
they were trying to change their views so that Trump would still be justified in their head. No, baby, no, don't do that. But the good thing is that there are still people who have come over to our side because of the content we've put out and because of the whole Trump thing who will stay. And we gotta stay focused for them because they, they're what this is all gonna be about. They're gonna be the value that we extrapolate from this L that we all collectively took. And I know a lot of people in the alt-right who are red pill on this and who are going to essentially say I told you so. Shout out to my homie Andriago. He's going to be commenting on this saying I told you so and if he doesn't comment that I'm going to message him and be real pissed. <laughs> Matter of fact, I want everyone who kind of <laughs> was right on this to be I told you so. -ish. Come on, rub it in. Damn, you, you know what the problem is? This is a wooden spatula. I need a wooden spoon. So I'm gonna switch to that later on. But visually, this is not going to be a very entertaining video. Let me turn it over. I should have done this from the beginning. Now you can see me, and you can see that I'm out here being a chef. I never intend- I wanted to make this video since this morning, but I never intended it to be like this. This is just me not knowing how to control my appetite. And it's probably why this is going to be the longest video I've made since coming back. Because this is Puerto Rican food, you gotta give it time. And I'm not Puerto Rican or Dominican. Ooh, but it's looking good now. I gave some to my younger bro the other day and he loved it, man. So I had to drop a chunk there. I ain't gonna front. I wanted to make cooking videos since 2012. I should have done that instead of Let's Plays, man. That would have been so fun. I had a bunch of videos saved up too, but they were whack. There was just another dumb Mr. Wonka 7 shirtless video back when I was a wannabe Chad. Oh, fuck. I almost wasted ingredients. My mom would have beat my ass. Especially since I would have probably busted my ass and knocked this over. It's not good. Neighbors upstairs probably getting salty right now. Why are you making all that noise? The food Network got really edgy all of a sudden. I'm out here. Oh, damn. Let me break these chunks down. Some big chunks right here, but I don't want to break them down. It's going to be nice. Ugh. I am making progress. I'd be nastier with my left hand right now, but all the work I'd be putting in the gym. And I made this yesterday. This is harder than anything I do in the gym. Way harder. It's like cardio workout for my left forearm and bicep. The worst part of this is that 
I love cooking, but I hate washing dishes, man. Oh, damn. Anyway, is there anything else I can be talking about right now? Let me check the length of this video. Ooh, this video is only 15 minutes so far. Let me... Those are rookie numbers from Mr. Wonka's 7 videos. I need to get these numbers up. Maybe those one hour let's plays. Oh, but it... All the textures are looking perfect right now. It went from like... Someone gonna try to break in? I'm mad nervous right now. I'm mad paranoid. That's why I'm not fun at parties. Oh, those noises are type scary. Like some possessed electronic appliances scary. And if something crashes and I trip over and Laptop gets knocked over, I'm gonna be pissed. Especially after guilt tripping my mom's for two years. About that. Oh wow. And things I do to save my appetite. I provide you guys with content. You guys might not see this right now, but this looking. I hate when the viscosity of whatever liquid I'm pouring is all effed up, so it like pours underneath and creates a mess. Like when you go down, go straight down. Maybe have a curve that's in the intended angle, but don't don't do me dirty like that. It's like the laws of physics were trolling. I ain't going front. If, if TRS is going to be posting, uh, changing their game now, I might have to start doing Autis again. Let me just throw that idea out there. Because a lot of people wanted me to go back to being on Autis. And I was kind of apprehensive because TRS ain't the same no more, and I ain't the same no more. But hopefully now that there's a void there, I can provide some content. But it's going to be good content. It's not going to be like weeb shit for the sake of being weeb shit. Or the last couple of lots he said they were to crap. It's going to be something that's like funny. A lot of people will be thinking that to do an auntie thing, you just got to add like nerd culture... Animal stuff. That's force. You got. You just gotta be funny, cause after they go into big heated soapbox arguments, the autistic thing kind of breaks down the tension. They can laugh for a little bit and then go and talk about something else. It's a good thing. I'm surprised people still wanted me to be the autistic, cause it's like, yo, it's 2017. I thought that shit died out in 2015. With the height of my popularity. That right there is done. Like, this is some Regan stuff, so you're gonna look at it and you're gonna be like, oh, is that, that, that's not good for you. And you're right. It's low calorie though. Well, let me see if I can show you just a little peek. Oh nah. I might have to get creative. That's where like a cell phone video would be very useful. Anyway. But these cooking type videos, I should show you what I made before I enjoy it. So let me serve it to myself now.
It's done, man. Let me just... This is a clear place so I can show you the spoils of my victory. It's looking like a bowl of cereal. Like them chocolatey diabetes cereals. But... It's gonna taste good, man. It tastes good, man. All I know is that from here on out, the kind of content that I'll provide is going to be a lot different from how I originally intended, where I would usually commentate on meme wars, how these things would play out. I'm definitely not going to make any more videos on any populist candidate who's going to go after immigration. That's not going to happen no more. I ain't gonna talk about no Marine Le Pen. If anyone wants to succeed from the European Union, whatever. I'm Squidward asleep. I'm Shaquille O'Neal asleep. And the only way these kinds of things will appeal to me is if it appeals to my Natsoc like viewpoints. That's the only way I can get interested again. And until then, I'm just going to treat it the way a lot of apolitical people, not centrists. Centrists are fake apolitical. Real apolitical people look at it. We're just going to think, all of this political stuff is just corporate BS to sell things to you. And a lot of us have been sold a lot of dumb things out of this. For all of you who bought your MAGA hats, y'all need to burn them shits now. For a lot of you who thought you had meme magic, let me call out Seven Sun, High Synergy. I'm gonna call your ass out, cause you're not funny. For the past couple of days, this guy's been doing the most, all these forced ass memes. Doing all these talking points about marijuana. Thinking that he can talk about anything or make anything into a meme. And that level of hubris made him create these cringy ass, fake funny things that he thought was good content. And you've been selling a lot of people some weird ass shit, so... I might do an artiste where I just roast you. <laughs> but it's all good, man. Anyway, it's been your boy, Mr. Wonka7. I am looking greasy as a motherfucker. I put some hair product on myself today. That don't even matter. Thank you guys for watching, and suck my dick.